Hi again and welcome to another fraction uh, video or lesson on fractions and this time we're looking at simplifying fractions. Let's briefly just say again that remember a fraction is a numerator. Okay, the numerator tells me how many pieces I have when the whole has been divided into the denominator. So the denominator tells me into how many pieces my whole was divided. My numerator tells me how many we have. Then we also looked in another video at equivalent fractions. And an equivalent fraction is whenever I multiply my numerator and my denominator with anything. So my numerator and my denominator multiplied, if I multiply both of them with anything, I get a equivalent fraction. Well, that means I can divide numerator and denominator with anything as well. So I can divide with something, uh, let's not use B, we already using B, let's use T. If I divide the numerator and the denominator with anything, I also get an equivalent fraction. But it's this that we are going to look at when we look at simplifying fractions. First of all, the, most, the simplest form, the simplest form for a fraction, okay, is when there is no common factor when there is no common factor in the numerator and denominator. Okay, why not? Okay, because if they had a common factor, remember a factor is something that can divide into the number without a remainder. So if I have something like and in the previous video we also looked at 16, uh, 12 over 16. Okay, If I have a factor that can divide into 12 and into 16, it's called a common factor. Okay, So in the numerator and denominator, both can be divided with 4. So since both can be divided with 4, they have a common factor. This is therefore not the simplest form. Okay, So we can divide with 4. Let's first divide with 2 and see if we have, can we have 6 over 8? Is this the simplest form? No, because everything can again be divided by 2. Both still have 2 as a common factor. So now we have 3 over 4. Does 3 and 4 have any common factors? No, they don't. 3 is a prime number. It only consists of 1 times 3. 4 can be written as two, 2 times 2, and there's no common factors. Okay, so this is what it means to write something as, as in its simplest form. Simplifying a fraction means writing it in its simplest form. So what we'll need to do is find common factors. Okay, and once we found common factors, we can cancel common factors. So let me write this as cancelling, cancel common factors. Now we've looked at this in a previous video when we talked about division, but let me just show you once again. If I factorize 12 into its prime factors, I can say 12 is 3 times 4 and 4 is 2 times 2. So 3 times 2 times 2, this is the prime factorization of 12. 16 is 2 times 8, and 8 is 2 times 4, and 4 is 2 times 2. So here we go, and now we can see that if I, div I can divide the numerator and the denominator with 2. And when I divide this with 2, I get 1, and that with 2, I get 1. So kind of what happens is they cancel. It looks like they cancel. They don't really cancel. There's not something like cancelling, but that is what it seems like. And these two will also cancel. So that in the end, I'm left with 3 over 2 times.
times 2, which is 3 over 4. And this is exactly the process of simplifying fractions. The process is first factorize numerator and denominator. It's going to shorten it. Factorize the numerator and denominator. Second step, cancel. And I put that in inverted commas because it's not really true. They divide into each other. Cancel common factors. And then finally, simplify. So what do I mean by simplify? It's not always necessary. But for example, here we could say 2 times 2 is 4. And uh, we're not doing uh, the opposite of what we what we intended. We just want to write it in a neat form as 3 over 4 rather than 3 over 2 times 2. Okay, so simplify is um, is optional. You don't have to do that if you had to simplify a fraction. This last step where we multiply back factors that did not cancel. That, that's kind of what this is. Multiply back factors that did not cancel. Um, and, but that's not always necessary. Yet, I'm going to stop here so that in the next couple of videos I'll do a few examples because this is very, 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 very important. Okay, So look for those examples, especially when it comes to algebraic fractions. There is no difference. We factorize, cancel, simplify. See you then.